three tips on self-compassion and how do we get that self-compassion. I'm sitting here with Colette, our resident psychologist. How do we get self-compassion and what is self-compassion? So self-compassion is actually a relatively new term mm. in a sense, but it's not about having self-pity or uh, being so self-absorbed absorbed that you think you're the, the centre of the universe. Right. Essentially, what, what we know as psychologists and researchers, we know that having a sense of belonging is very important to our well-being. Right. But aside from that or, or alongside that is actually that sense of worth that you have for yourself. But we can't have a sense of worth if we don't have compassion mm -hmm. on ourselves. Okay. And compassion, when we think about compassion, it's actually the same as thinking about compassion for somebody else. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have compassion for somebody else, it's usually a sense of our heart being moved. Right. A heart being moved for the pain someone is experiencing or something that they've gone through. Yes. And very often as human beings, we're much less forgiving of ourselves. Mm. We're much harder on ourselves. Uh, we don't allow ourselves to make mistakes or mess up. We don't almost, we don't see our own humanness. Yeah. And so we don't actually have compassion on ourselves when we do something wrong or when we mess up. Right. So it's that having a sense of feeling moved uh, towards being kind to, our, to ourselves. To ourselves, right. Uh, then also that sense of uh, warmth um, and and pity, but not in, as looking down on somebody. When right. we have pity on someone, uh, we actually just open our hearts more to to them, and uh, that is really the sense of what we uh, are talking about when we talk about self compassion. Right. Being more accepting of our situation. Yes, and and our I think circumstances. and I think very often, you know, as as human beings, we have this inner voice yes. that is often a voice that comes from criticism right. when we were growing up. Mm -hmm. Often it's the voice we have uh, as a little child. Yes. Uh, you don't measure up, you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you have to perform. It's right. When we don't have self-compassion, we usually have this performance mentality. I have to perform to be worthy of acceptance right. or worthy of love, even from ourselves. Right. I'm, not, I'm not worthy of actually being accepted, even by myself or, or through my own self, wow. because I didn't perform to perfection. So mm. it's very much uh, perfection-based performance performance-based. Right. So how do we get Nurture to... Nurture this, yes. yes. So, so the tips that I have really is practising forgiveness. So right. just as we... Uh, would forgive another forgive person. somebody right. else. We need to learn to forgive ourselves. Mm -hmm. Forgive ourselves when we mess up as parents yes. uh, in relationships, when we mess up at work, when we don't perform to that perfect standard we've got in our, right. in our minds. Being kind enough to ourselves that uh, we recognise our own humanness, mm. that we can make mistakes. I think that's so important, recognising your own humanness. Yes. Because we are human. Yeah. We're not yeah. robots. And then... <laughs> Oh, I always talk about uh, gratitude and mindfulness, but right. practising being grateful for what we have, not yep. what we wish we had. Mm. And, and that is part of self-acceptance and part of self-compassion. This is where I am now. Mm -hmm. And yes, I want to grow, but I need to be grateful for who I am, the gifts that I, ha right. I have uh, that I've been given right. now okay. and being mindful of that. Mm -hmm. And then I think the trickiest one is the growth mindset. Okay. Uh, learning to... Uh, learn from our, our mistakes. Right. It's so hard when we make mistakes mm -hmm. and and not be hard on ourselves and think, you know, we've we've blown it forever. But actually being forgiving of ourselves. When I make a mistake, how can I learn from this? How can I grow? Mm. Uh, and so as being uh, uh, our humanness is really about growth uh, and it starts in being compassionate with yourself first yeah. if you are going to have the space to grow. Mm, very good. And I guess that's also part of your journey. So being yes. accepting of where you are in your journey, forgiving yourself and being able to embrace the growth yes. that comes with that. Thank you so much, Colette. Keep it locked right here at Mums at the Table.